As mentioned earlier, a thermal map of the rubble was created five days after the towers collapsed. The view is looking down on the rubble. Obviously, the rubble would be cooler after five days than it was on September 11th. Also, firemen sprayed water on the rubble during those five days. However, one location in the rubble of Building 7 was above the melting point of aluminum, and so was one location in the rubble of the South Tower. Not surprisingly, smoke came out of the rubble for months. Peter Tully, president of one company hired to remove debris, and Mark Lazo, president of Controlled Demolition, told the American Free Press that steel had melted at the bottom of the basements in the towers and Building 7. These incredible temperatures are more evidence that explosives were used. According to the scientists who analyzed the seismic data, the North Tower collapsed in about 8 seconds. The collapse started at about the 94th floor, near this woman. This means that 94 floors shattered at an average rate of about 10 floors per second. Ninety-four floors at twelve feet per floor is eleven hundred twenty-eight feet. Divide that by sixteen and take the square root, and we get eight point four seconds. This means that the North Tower collapsed as fast as objects fall when there is no air resistance. 